Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys a bit of an analysis on what's going on in the constructed format uh, in Hearthstone on day two and three of the Witchwood expansion. It's quite an interesting case where we have this massive scapegoat of a card. Everyone is just crapping on Shaman, crapping on Shutterwalk. You know, there's certainly things wrong with this card, but it seems like Blizzard will probably focus a lot of unwarranted attention on it. Um, initially we saw... Uh, Shutterwalk Battlecry deck highlighted so many times in the past. Um, doing very well on ladder because I think a lot of people were experimenting with fairly unrefined lists. And when expansion comes out, typically people try the new decks and the new archetypes usually are not aggro. And then like a few hours later, people realize aggro is just better or the previous expansion's decks are just better. And once people realize that, this deck basically stopped winning. Shaman, uh, according to the stats that I've seen through Vicious Syndicate and Hearthstone Replay, is the least played and worst class right now. Yes, despite this card being the most complained about card, uh, Shaman is awful. And I'm talking real awful. Uh, just to give you guys some idea of what's actually going on, um, this is the Vicious Syndicate Live Reaper here. Um, you can see that uh, Other Warlock basically means cube lock slash control lock. Other Paladin means even aggro or odd aggro or like dragon neither aggro. Uh, other Druid is spiteful, Other Priest is spiteful, and Other Rogue is uh, tempo deck. But it's not just the deck lists that, um, you know, are considered here. There is a massive divide between uh, the Warlock and Paladin decks and basically everything else. If you look at the percentages, basically, if you're playing an aggro Paladin deck, you will win games. If you're playing a uh, control slash cube Warlock deck, you will win games. If you're playing, well anything else, you're not going to progress. Um, those decks have averages of over 55% at most of the ranks, and the other decks are largely below 50%. And again, the main problem is here, and I think it's a pretty big one, that the point of this video is this problem is probably going to get overshadowed by the fact that so many people are complaining about, well, Shutterwalk. Um, the Warlock decks are almost unchanged, and while the Paladin decks, you know, usually follow the odd or even archetype, the cards within them hardly change, the playstyle is the same, and we just experienced, like, months and months of playing against Cube Lock and Aggro Paladin. And here we are with a brand new expansion with a standard reset, the most, uh, refreshing time to play Hearthstone, and the only decks that are winning are our decks that we have already played against. That is a really big problem, I feel, and I feel it's something we should kind of repeat and give our opinions on uh, so Blizzard doesn't forget about it and doesn't focus all of their efforts of the nerfs in the next few weeks on Shutterwalk, because honestly, I don't give a crap if Shutterwalk is going to be in the game a few weeks from now. Like, yeah, I, I think it's, it's fine for the game. Um, I know it's really frustrating to go through so many turns, and they should probably speed that up. It should just happen, like, instantaneously or something. I don't know. I guess that's a bad solution, too, but I don't really care. The deck is awful. Uh, a lot of people said that Shutterwalk is going to get out of control if, um, like, you know, control comes back and stuff. That's not even the case. Right now, yesterday I played, like, 70% cube lock, and honestly, Shutterwalk doesn't even do that well against cube lock doesn't even matter. It's, it, yeah. Control decks have so much burst, so much combos these days, that doing, like, a multiple turn follow-up to an OTK, it's kind of just not good enough. Yeah. Today I want to highlight a game proving you this point, where I'm literally playing a slow-as-hell anti-aggro control deck. Like, this is the easiest match that a Shutter Shutterlock Shaman should have like in the game but well eh, you might guess what the outcome was enjoy and i'll see you guys in a bit this is the first shaman we've played in like a day and a half typically the chat play recommendations are not stellar all right now even shaman is actually the best shaman deck but seeing as this guy's legend rank 3300 he's definitely playing shitter Shaman, which is really uh, 
it's basically impossible to win against. Even Shaman, am I being sarcastic? No. Just racing for the quest right now. Quest Rogue Fast. Is that it? Yesterday I died on turn 5 from Quest Rogue. I died on 5. <laughs> Completed the quest on 4. <laughs> That's impressive. Not the word I'd use. Missing basically all the elementals involved. 17 cards in deck. He just top decked Sandbinder. I want face damage, so. Top deck and ooze, bro. <laughs> yeah, he was actually in bad shape, and then he uh, runner, 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 top deck, perfect answers, and now I'm probably gonna lose. I was hoping to have some mercy from 3,300 legend dudes, but we'll see, I guess. It's going to play the heal for 12 card now. I think I'm gonna play Witch King. No. Just, just gonna keep the pressure up. More pressure equals harder for him to pull the combo. Can I kill that somehow? No, I can't. Pretty bad, whatever. Actually, that is pretty bad. I think anti magic shell is better. I think it's the worst one this time. Gonna grumble me. Yeah, yeah, grumble for four. Yeah, and then he's probably dead. Attack with Drake. 4x warpath. Huh, I guess. I guess so. Four more face damage that way. I lose a minion to do four face damage next turn, though. I don't know. 
Maybe it wasn't so good. Okay. Um, I think I win. I have Warpath, right? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. I just won the unwinnable matchup. Three thousand two hundred fifty-nine. Say hello to three thousand, probably two hundred and sixty-three or some bullshit. Yeah, 